Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this episode, we'll visualize how data flows through an Android app. And as you can see here, this is a image about the data flowing Android app. And if you're learning uh, how to create Android app from Google courses, you see this uh, very familiar. And for the first time I learned um, how to create Android app. And I see um, I learned uh, Android architecture component here. And it's, I, I found that it's very hard for me to visualize how, how does that work. I still can see uh, it's the flow like this, but I still I can't understand you know, what, because um, some, some definition is hard to understand. And of course, so uh, then now, I decide to create a an animation to help my viewers easily to visualize how uh, data flows through an Android app, and we we'll see. And everything start with the user interaction. Uh, Imagine uh, um, a, a user open your app, and uh, of course, let me refresh it. And the user can see the low user button on your app. And when the user click low user button, uh, all the user will list on the screen. But how does that work, right? How does that work? That means how data flows. And we see uh, when the user click uh, the low user button, that means the user uh, send a request. And the UI layer will send a request to the view model. Let me click it. It's loading now. Uh, as you can see here, the UI send a request or even to the view model and view model will process it. And of course, the UI just um, take the input and forward to the view model and view model is one who uh, contains the business logic and uh, after take the request, the view model will call a method fast user here. This method come from the repository. Uh, it will fit um, the user from the database, but the view model can talk directly to the database, so it has to go through the repository. And then the repository access a mediator between view model and the data sources. In this case, the data sources should be room database. And maybe you wonder, um, you know what? From the first time I learned it, I just uh, it just says that the repository it kind of single source of truth. I really don't know. I really don't understand <laughs> what it kind of single source of truth. Really, I don't know. So, but now I know because I do many projects, and yeah. <laughs> so, the repository it kind of a worker. And the database is kind of a factory, right? Worker need to take packages from the factory and send it back to the customer like that. And of course, and as you can see, the repository call get all user function here. This function or method should be called uh, before in the DAO. Of course, because oh, let's see, let's see in the next step, right? And the DAO stands for data access object. Um, the DAO like a hand of a worker. It will um, the one yeah the one who talk directly to the room database because uh, without the hand without the hand or you know what without the tool, the DAO like the tool of the repository. Now the repository want to fetch the user from the room database, so um, the repository call the methods from DAO. As you can see, the, the repository call get all user here, and the get all user function it is clear um, in the DAO. And on top of the function, you can see the query here. The query means it will select all data from user table or entity. So. Um, it would work like that. And the DAO said to the database, hey, I need to take all the data from the user entity, give me all the data, and 
of course, the room executes the query and return the model object to the repository. And we see in the final step, and you can see it is receiving the, of course, the UI layer is receiving the data from the room um, rep to repository and view model and view model. Uh, it's not just like the view model display uh, the data on the screen like that. The view model have to kind of <laughs> It will expose expose the data uh, through live data or state flow. I mean the view model here, because um, every time the database change, the view model have to observe it. So the thing we observe the data change it will be live data or state flow. And but in this case, the the one who who observes the data change it will be live data. And of course, and it will display in the recycler view like this. But uh, yeah, of course, in just back compo, it will display in a lazy column. But in normal Java or Kotlin, it will still display the UI in the recycler view. And um, so. As you can see, when the user click a button to load user, the, the UI layer send a request to the view model, and the view model will call a method from the repository, and the repository tell down that uh, I need to take uh, all the user from the database, and now just take all the user from the database like that, and as I said, now like uh, the hand or the tool of the repository will help repository take the data from the room database and the room database return back to the view model and of course view model will expose the data using live data and state flow and if um, I, I I add another yeah another kind of user like holy with ID4 and the room now we would had a one more, of course one more user, and the view model will observe this and um, using live data and display the latest uh, live holy with ID four. All right, so we can see. Um, Let's see it again. And so um, the data flow through an Android app uh, with five step. I think five step is, is, is yeah, it's uh, it's easily to help my viewer understand it easily. And if you have any question, you can ask me out, and you can comment below my video. And of course, if you want to deploy or if you want me to deploy this site or even you want to try this site, please comment uh, below my video to interact with my video. And if you found this video and this animation is cool, please like and subscribe to my channel. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.